There are times that we want to restrict the values for a column to a limited list of strings. For example, you might have a column called size, and in this column, we only want to allow the values small, medium, and large. This is where we use the enum type. Let me show you. Here in our SQL store database, I'm going to open the products table in the design mode and add a new column here called size. Now let's set the type of this column to enum. And here we need to pass three string values, small, comma, medium, comma, large. Let's close the parenthesis and press tab one more time and then click on apply. So here are the changes. We're going to add a new column called size. And the type of this column is enum of these three values. Let's apply the changes. Now let's open the table and set the size of one of these products here. So the only values we can set here are small, medium, or large. If you use anything else, MySQL is going to give us an error. So here we can type small in lowercase or uppercase. It doesn't matter. Now let's apply the changes. Beautiful. I'm going to close this tab and reopen the products table. Now look at the size of the first product. It's small. So this is how enums work. Now, while this may look appealing to you, in my opinion, enums are generally bad and you should avoid them. The first reason is that changing the members of an enum can be expensive. For example, let's say tomorrow we decide to come back to our products table and add a new member here, or maybe rename one of these members. MySQL is going to rebuild this entire table, and this can be expensive if we have millions of records in this table. Also, with this approach, we can add additional attributes to each member. For example, what if we want to include the actual measurements for each size? We can do that. Also, if you want to get the list of all possible sizes and display them in a drop-down list in our application, you have to do a bit more work. It's not that easy. Plus, these enums are not reusable. So if you have another table and you want to reuse these values there, in that table, we need to redefine this enum with these members. And that duplication means if we decide to make a change in one of these members, we'll have to apply that change in multiple places. So these are some of the reasons that I believe enums are bad and you should avoid them. A better approach is to have a separate table called sizes. In this table, we can store all the sizes and any additional attributes they have, like their measurement. We can reuse this table in multiple places. And if you want to get all the sizes, we write a single select statement. That's really easy. We refer to this kind of table as a lookup table. In our SQL invoicing database, this payment methods table is also another lookup table. Quite often, we use these tables to feed our drop-down lists. So back to enums. Just because MySQL supports them doesn't mean you should use them. I only explain them here so you're aware of them and know why they are bad. We also have another similar type called a set, but a set can store multiple values. So similar to enums, we specify the list of allowable values, and then we can store multiple values in a column. Again, this is really bad because it causes all sorts of issues. In the next section, when we talk about normalization, you will learn a better approach to deal with these scenarios.